with you, uh, Deepa, and Mangalam joins us to tell us about Concord because they released their quarter for business updates and it appears in terms of the guidance, they've missed that. Mangalam, go ahead. Well, you know, uh, the management spoke to CNBC TV18 post their third quarter numbers and at that point, the nine-month volumes were closer around 7.2% and the management still was pretty confident of going ahead and doing 10 to 12% volume growth uh, for the entire year versus the nine-month growth of just about 7.2%. At that time itself, looking at the macros, the street chose not to believe them and now the numbers are here for us and they've missed those estimates. So, total volumes of the fourth, fourth quarter grew at 11.2%, exim volumes 9.7% and domestic volume 16 percent quarter on quarter this is an improvement in terms of their volumes but it's below their expectations or below their own guidance as well so for the full year total volume growth guidance was uh, 8.2 percent the company's uh, rather volume growth guidance was 10 to 12 percent the company's reported 8.2 percent exim volumes 8.2 percent growth versus target of 10 to 12 percent domestic volume 12.3 percent versus target of 15 to 20 percent so there has been a mild miss on their volumes but the good part here is that they have been on a recovering path and going forward it'll be very interesting to see whether volumes come by with uh, the DFC coming on uh, stream etc or not is the question and the second thing that we'll be watching out for is are the internals apart from the volumes how much of that is double stacked what have been the curtailment of losses that they've done due to empty running and uh, the operational details with realizations would be important to watch in the numbers but as of now as far as the volumes are concerned they're below street expectations though improved in the fourth quarter. Okay, all right, Mangalam, thanks a lot uh, for that. Uh, Deepan, I wanted uh, your view on Concord. You know, the numbers looked a little bit disappointed, but as Mangalam said, the street would have thought at the end of quarter three itself, they're unlikely to meet the guidance that they were putting out. You know, I was lucky uh, with regard to this double stack. Thanks for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. And for more news and updates, follow us on all the social media platforms.